Chicago's economic future depends upon the quality of workforce. Uh, the longer we delay the day, the week, and the month, or the year, what takes place is that other countries move ahead much quicker than us. We know that. We see that in the global economy. You see that continually uh, of anybody's traveled overseas and see what's happening in other countries. They're, gonna, they're not going to wait. Uh, they're just going to keep moving ahead. So the challenge is how do we really set up Chicago in the global economy? So first of all, new leadership of the city colleges. Uh, and challenge the reinventing the system from top to bottom, looking at it from outside and not from within. You have to have people from the outside come in and look at the city colleges, and that's what they've done. And reinventing uh, city colleges uh, deals with reinventing uh, uh, the public school system. Uh, you can only do what you do with someone coming from an uh, 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 elementary or high school system that can't read or can't write or can't function. And then that's why we spend an enormous amount of money uh, enormous amount of money, $35 million, to get them prepared for high school. And so this is not the place to prepare them for high school. High school should prepare them that. And that will be a whole new discussion in regards to the accountability of all the educators in the education system, uh, and not just city colleges. You can only do what you can do with those coming through your door. So we're not going to forget them, but there has to be a reestablishment of elementary and high school to produce students who at least can read and function according to a high school level, not a grammar school level. At least we get closer to a high school level. And that's very, very important. But we're going to go beyond that as well. Uh, I've challenged uh, Marty and, and Cheryl and others uh, to build upon the strengths uh, of the system. And they're wonderful professors and counselors and people have worked very hard. And yes, there's great success stories in the city colleges. Uh, Cheryl and others. There is many people graduated uh, from the two-year college and went on. I mean, that's, it, there's many, many young men and women that have left here uh, after a number of years of education and wonderful employees. So we have to bring back the employer dealing with this city college system. It cannot exist as a government function alone. And when it exists as a government function alone, then it loses its mission. And the mission really is to uh, prepare young people uh, to be able to get a job and to be able to go on to college, uh, be able to function independently of themselves. If we give a child a good quality education, you give it independence for life. If you don't, they have to depend upon uh, government for the rest of their life, and I disagree with that plan. As you will hear, uh, they were taking strong, strong first steps and have accepted the challenge. I ask them to meet all those. They have developed a four-phase uh, four reinvention plan that calls for developing and implementing their solutions by the summer of 2012, and then sustaining those solutions for the long term. And that, that, talking to students, talking to professors, talking to business leaders, all of us have to really work together. We're part of the solution and not part of the problem. They have completed their first phase of work, which included diagnosing the situation, <coughs> setting priorities, creating task forces and partnerships to develop solutions. Among the steps, the steps they have already done, they have already reviewed programs and offerings to increase economic in education value credentials students earn. They're in process of better aligning our programs with employer needs. Uh, and that is very, very critical. Uh, why are they taking this class and for what purpose and are they earning a credit? That Simple as that. It's simple as that. Nothing else. Uh, they are improving student support, which is really important because this is all about students. It's not about the professors. It's about the students. Students should come first, not the adults. Students always come first in the education system, including advising, tutoring, and helping students. They want to find a job. They want to know, can I at least find a job? That is very, very important. They're addressing the critical issues of re remediation, which I talked about, by partnering with Chicago Public Schools so that every student prepared to move into credit, uh, credit building programs. And we have to say, you have graduated a student from high school. What is their ability? Can they come? to a first-year program in city colleges. And if they can't, then what do you do in, 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 the, in the high school system? I can't take the problem and say, now it's your problem. We're moving the problem from elementary high school into you and eventually outside the community. And that someone has to say, enough is enough. We can all work together. And that's, that's what I'm trying to do, and give everyone that opportunity to do that. And they are concentrating on leveraging technology, which is the key technology, ask any students, uh, more effectively improve the integrity of their data, as well as their instructional technology and non-instructional student support technology. This is all about the students. How do we basically, this is not about professors, it's about the students. 
You know, this is, this is the students. What are we doing for them and how can they achieve that? And you have to know, you have to understand why they're here. Are they here for two years, what they want to accomplish? They want to go on another uh, four-year program, two-year program, or they want to get a job? We have to understand that when they come in. And always encourage them to move on in their education. This is it beginning the end of their education system. Uh, they have begun the second phase, which includes the critical step of engaging broader community in their efforts. So to do that, they have created external advisory councils, Chicago area academic, business, civic, community leaders to help them assess challenges, identify effective solutions, and set targets. That phase will be completed in spring of 2011. Then for the next summer until the summer of 2012, they will put various recommendations in place, then begin to measure results. As I told them, it's absolutely essential for the reinvention to include greater accountability, transparency, and performance measures for all programs, and not just for a few. This includes shifting away from enrollment numbers as a measure, as a measure of success to job readiness. Oh, we have 10,000, doesn't matter. Uh, uh, you want to know uh, the program completion instead. That's what you want to know. I don't care how many students you enroll, what is the outcome? That's, that is the key for the sake of the students. The key. It includes the overall commitment to protect the taxpayers to doing more with less, and every level of government hears that. It, uh, as they will tell you today, this reinvention is a work in progress. It's always a work in progress. It isn't written in stone. It's flexible. It has to change. And you're going to find out someone come up with a better solution or idea within the system. But to stay on the timetable, they have set out and demonstrate to all Chicagoans this is a new day in city colleges. I believe we have the opportunity under their leadership to turn the city college of Chicago into a world-class institution uh, that not only prepares students to move on to higher education, but also ensures them they have skills to make themselves employable. And when they're employable, and then from there, if they decided to continue, they continue, but at least they can get a job. No institution in Chicago is better positioned than city colleges to become the economic engine that prepares a very, very skilled workforce and highly technology workforce. This is very important to guarantee, I believe, the future of the city. Whoever the next mayor is, is important that education, early childhood, elementary, high school, city college program, all works together, all transparency, all accountability, because I firmly believe the students deserve it, and the taxpayers deserve this. They want good programs, and they truly want to make sure their students are, are, are improving on a daily basis. And no, no, no student should be forgotten. No student should be neglected. We should make a full commitment to all of them.